dry Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on Hello everybody, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier, or welcome if you are new. If you are new, don't get, forget to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Come along and join my family. I am so thankful and grateful that you are here with us today. We have just a quick instant motivational reset for today after the long weekend the kids and Fred both had. I am so excited to get the house back in order after having everybody home for well the kids were all home for three days and Fred's been home for four so I'm just happy and thankful that I can get the house back to normal and get things put away but first we have to get the ham and beans into the crock pot now I have shared this recipe on my channel before I will try to remember to link it down below for you guys or even put it in a little um, the i card up above if you guys are interested i absolutely love ham and beans not only are they pretty affordable to make but they also they just hit the spot and it's definitely one of those kind of stick to your bones type of meal especially when it's cold and you guys it has been cold down here in florida we've been waking up with frost on our windows um so just in case you didn't know Florida does freeze sometimes. Stay here forever, 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 forever. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? So typically when making ham and beans, I just like to use the ham bone. Um, Typically, it's left over from Christmas or Easter. Uh, this one was from the recent Christmas, but it didn't really have a whole lot of ham on it, so I did go ahead and cut up some ham steaks just to add a little bit more meat. I will say though, uh, you'll see the final um, soup at the end of the video, and I was pleasantly surprised at how much meat actually did come off that bone. So now that dinner is put in the crock pot we're gonna go ahead and get everything else just kind of cleaned up and tidied around the house forever 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 i watch you as you drive do you know i'm looking know I keep saying this you guys but I am so super excited um, the appliances have officially made their way to the house they are here hubby just needs to install them and I can get to organizing the fridge for you guys so I'm hoping to have that done and a video edited and up for you guys on Sunday so look forward to that I cannot wait I already have all the stuff to organize it oh I'm so excited to have a French store a fridge again I haven't had one since not our old house but the house before our old house so it's been definitely well over 10 years since I've had a French store fridge and I I am just beyond excited I I know I keep saying that guy <laughs> I'm so sorry for repeating myself, but you guys, when when you reach a certain age, these types of things are exciting, and I don't know how to explain it because I remember my mom getting excited over new appliances and new furniture and a, a new vacuum even and stuff like that, and I'm like, oh my goodness, you are so weird. <laughs> Like, why are you excited over this stuff? And now as an adult, I totally get it. I get excited over the smallest things and 
I just can't explain it. Do you guys do that too? Do you guys get excited over things, silly things, I guess, like that? Like appliances, like furniture, like vacuums, even, even a new cleaning product I get excited for. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. <laughs> I, I don't know, but I, I'm so stoked. So definitely make sure you're subscribed so you can catch that video. While we are on the topic of upcoming videos, I also am excited to share with you guys a new sponsor. I I am beyond excited again. <laughs> um, but anyway, I am so excited to share this with you. It is going to be in two weeks. So not this coming Sunday, but the next Sunday. I will have that video out for you. It is going to be basically a redecorate or a makeover of our living room. I'm going to be adding a few things uh, just to kind of warm up the space. You know, moving here to Florida, I wanted everything light, bright, and airy. And it is, but now I need some warmth. I need, I need to make it just more cozy. So I'm super excited to share that. I, um, like I said, I am doing a collab slash sponsorship, so I can't wait to share that with you guys so you can see who that is. I um, also am planning on doing an accent wall and just adding other few things here and there, so definitely stay tuned for all of that. I also have a ton of other video ideas coming up for you guys. Um, next month is going to be a full-on deep clean spring cleaning all the nitty gritty oh my goodness <laughs> nosy miko that is so funny i didn't even know he did that he moved the camera ah silly boy anyway cats cats i tell you they're so nosy <laughs> um but anyway yes so make sure you're subscribed don't forget to come back and check out everything that i have coming up I'm not sure if you guys remember me talking about finding a rug for this area. I found this rug on homedepot.com. I absolutely love it. It is very comfortable to stand on. It's very soft, but perfect for the kitchen. So it has like a low pile um, carpet. So it doesn't get food stuck in it um, or anything like that. It's easy to vacuum, easy to clean. And I love the pattern on it. I didn't want something um, solid or... What, I, I'm not sure what I'm, I'm trying to say, but I, I like more of the vintage, antique, um, rustic kind of vibe of it. So I thought it was perfect. It does come in a variety of colors if you're interested in checking that out. Um, I will say, though, the bottom is slick. You saw me lay the mats down, and those don't even help. <laughs> so I think I'm going to try out 
some rug tape and see if that does any good. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for me on how to keep the rug from moving, let me know down in the comments. But we're gonna get to finishing up folding these towels and then we're going to clean up the living room. I'm yours until the end of time. Until the end of time follow me over on Instagram I shared that I got a new car this past weekend I am so excited my old van was just really getting up there in miles um, we do a lot of traveling and then also the big move from Nebraska down to Florida so it, the miles were just really getting up there so I decided it was time to trade her in I upgraded to a 2023 Honda Odyssey and I am in love boy do I feel Feel absolutely spoiled so go over to be mrs. Frazier on Instagram and check her out um, but why I'm saying that is because the bag that you just saw was all the stuff that came out of it so I'm just trying to clean up this area and get things moved and put away sometimes this area becomes kind of a catch-all over the weekends and it just kind of gets cluttered so I need to get it all cleaned up and put away and hint hint there is the collab i could not wait for you guys to see this um but anyway i am moving that into the bedroom for right now because it's really hard to store those two big pieces i don't know where to put them <laughs> So for now, they're just going to go in the bedroom and hide in there, um, but at least they are out of the way uh, and won't bug me in the living room anymore. Oh, damn, I've been feeling something for you lately, and I am trying so hard to just stay cool. Saying we're just friends, but thinking you're my man. And baby, if you knew, hey, I say I'm doing all right, I'm doing just fine, but I'm getting better. And I cry when you're not around because it matters, matters. It never ceases to amaze me at what this wet back picks up. That is so disgusting, and I, I can't even believe it. I I don't know how our floors get so dirty so quickly. We do not wear shoes on our house, so it just amazes me at how, how much dirt and grime that this wet back picks up. Um, also, I just kind of wanted to share with you guys how I clean it, because I don't think I've shared that before. Um, I'll dump the original grime out into the toilet and then fill it up and rinse it a little bit try to get all that extra sediment and hair and all that out and dump that into the toilet so it can be flushed and then I just finish rinsing it um, in the sink and then I'll go back and wash out the sink later on but anyway the ham and beans is officially done 
if you're wondering why it looks a little low, I already served up the kids and now I'm getting the hubby's bowl. But look at that ham bone, you guys. It like that big chunk of ham right there came off of the bone. I seriously mind blown. I didn't realize there was so much ham left on there, but these ham and beans are so delicious. And after getting the house back together and organized, I cannot wait to sit down and enjoy this hot, yummy soup. So anyway, guys, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and we will see you on Sunday. Bye guys. I'm fine. Hey, I say I'm doing all right. I'm doing just